Okay, the first Q&A. Um, I'm going to be restringing my bass guitar at the same time. I'm doing this just to kill two birds with one stone. Um, I've, ab I've managed to have almost all your questions written down and I'm able to answer them in this time frame, so that's kind of cool. So I've, I've sectioned everything up. First is going to be favourites, like what's your favourite, this and that. The next section is going to be influence, then musically related questions, and then miscellaneous ones. So the first of the favourite question is what's my f what's what's my favourite black metal subgenres? Um, honestly, like for me, it's just black metal or black and death metal. Those are my favourites because I find black because I like my black metal to be fast, brutal, intense. Um, don't really think too much about black and roll or um, like suicidal or depressive black metal. It's just I uh, don't really don't really listen to it. Um, that kind of stuff. Uh, the next question is obviously I know your videos are more guitar based, but who's your favourite drummer in black metal? Uh, number one is definitely Frost from 1349 Satyricon because I've seen the guy play live quite a few times and every single time he's just fucking on it it's un it's relentless it's punishing it's brutal it's fast he just doesn't let up it doesn't there's no moment at any point where you feel that frost is struggling or he's not coping with it he's just bam 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 on it and his kit sounds excellent too and his symbols his symbols are sick like his china symbol the best the so gritty and ghastly it's lovely next one is who's my favorite guitarist in metal in general <laughs> Archeon from 1349 hands down the dude's just awesome he's awesome he's creative he's he's fast he's technical he's um an excellent excellent songwriter a very 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 talented musician um and obviously 1349 is my favorite band of all time so of course you know a lot of respect does go out to Archeon and, and the other musicians within the band but when it comes to like other favorite guitarists um Isan from the early you know making the early Emperor records fucking cool fucking amazing amazing guitar work and off the top of my head is Nightbringer's singer and the guitarist he's working with at the moment, they write some really, really cool, really cool stuff. Um, I think as well, the Iron Maiden guys, Dave Murray, Yannick, Adrian, yeah, of course, those those are massive, massive influ influences to, um, you know, me playing metal and to a lot of people, I think. Uh, next of the favourites, and this is the last one of the favourite section, is the top five black metal albums of all time. Now th this one I've been thinking about for a while and I haven't come up with my answers um, but I will tell you I will tell you to check out my top 10 black metal albums for guitarists because number one is Demon Noir that's still I think forever gonna be my favorite black metal album ever then after that it's a tie between Nightbringers Death in the Black Work and the latest one um, Terra Damnata, those are those are really cool albums. For me, my the albums that I like, I have to find them interesting from start to end, and there's not very many albums that keep me interested for the entirety of their duration. So that's why no, that's why I don't like a lot of black metal albums because I get bored of them halfway through, and then it just gets a bit like, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, and I can't really make a list of you know. 1349 albums in every of my favorite black metal album list because it's just not fair to any of the other bands and you know it just gets a bit boring if I talk about the same band over and over again. Now we get onto the influence section uh, which bands have been my biggest influences so let's take it all the way back when I was first getting into guitar I really wasn't listening to much rock music or anything at all I didn't really know much about it but I remember getting into, <laughs> I was like 11, but I remember liking Fall Out Boy, and then when I was 12, I was getting into Bullet For My Valentine. So those guys had some little impact. Um, 
to my musical path, but then it got to when I was about 14 and started listening to Iron Maiden, and I think Iron Maiden really, really took the, um, has taken the biggest influence um, from me. But of course I'm influenced by other bands as well. After Iron Maiden I was listening to a lot of Dimmu Borgir and Nile at the same time. And then after Dimmu Borgir I was Emperor. A lot of, a lot of Emperor. And then after Emperor came 1349 and, and since 1349 nothing nothing that I've listened to has kind of taken taken their spot when it comes to my biggest influence. So that's why if you realise a lot of my playing is well, a lot of my songwriting and playing is derived from Rock Emperor and 1349 style riffing, along with Iron Maiden style songwriting. Um, and that has, well, the next question is which what which players have influenced your playing the most, metal and otherwise. It's still just uh, as I've m uh, mentioned before, Archeon, Isan, um, the Doom of War Gear guys, because they've got loads of guitarists and Iron Maiden's guitarist. Next question, what was your first exposure to black metal and what does it mean to you personally and what are the most influential bands and tracks that have left the most effect on me? So my first exposure to black metal was when my cousin was listen listening to them, he was telling me about it, and I was like, what, what's black metal? I've never heard that before and I thought, I thought it was absolutely shit. I think he showed me like Emperor or Gorgoroth and I didn't like it at the time. And then, yeah, obviously things changed. Um, what does black metal mean to me personally? I think all music is expression. I don't think any other music genre should have any importance over the other because music is art and art is nothing but expression. Um, influential bands we've talked about, but tracks, songs that have left the most effect of me, the biggest, well, they've given me the biggest effect. Ha, <laughs> that was shit English. That, songs that have been the most influential and had the biggest effect. Shit. Um, Kings of the Carnival Creation, Dimmu Borgir, um, Papyrus containing the spell to preserve its possessor against attacks from heaves in the water by Nile, um, Inoa Satana, The Loss of Curse of Reverence, and Pandemonium War Bells. Okay. How did I get into black metal? Ah, my cousin showed me some stuff one time, it was immortal when I was about 14 and I grew to like black metal and I thought Immortal was really cool so that's how I got into black metal now we go on to like the real nit nit nitty gritty real music -y questions so the first one is what are the three most important things for those who want to make black metal first of all is is <laughs> don't be shit don't be a shit player and don't write shit songs obviously all art is, is perspective but don't don't try and copy your idols that's the first thing don't try and copy your idols but have, take influence from them um, the second thing which derives from that is write music that you want to listen to as in write as if you were listening to your favorite band or write as if your own music is your favorite music ever and the third most important thing when it comes to black metal is find the right people to want to um, to want to work with you because that's that's a big thing. Next question. What music theory, scales, techniques is most important to know when writing black metal? Um, intervals is one thing. Um, having good tremolo picking, having good rhythm playing, and watching my video lessons for all good chords and rhythm playing and bands and all that kind of stuff. No, I'm um, <laughs> so I'll say good tremolo picking, uh, a good range of chords, and techniques, I would say learn everything as much as you can. Just learn as much as possible. Um, yeah, good palm muting. I think a lot of black metal bands that don't use much palm muting are kind of boring. What's my approach to the usage of diatonic dyads? It depends. I mean, if I want to start off with like a more uplifting, optimistic riff for a song, then, then yeah, that's a good way to start. Or if I want a midsection or an ending that's uplifting and kind of happy in its tonal tonality, then yeah, that's a good place to use um, dyads and ones that are diatonic. Now this is an interesting question. What do you need from technology to record black metal albums? Um, personally, you don't really need much. All you need, I'll say, for what's what be best for me is 
having recording software and from that recording software is to write songs and then you can always teach people your songs because if they're competent and if you're um, working with the right people then yeah it shouldn't be too difficult to um, for them to pick up your songs and obviously there's guitar pro and all that kind of stuff so technology get a, uh, have a good rec home recording setup um, guitar pro helps and be savvy when it comes to talking to people and by that I mean um, make sure you can use your phones and communicate effectively to email a producer and not sound like a fucking idiot. Next question, could you approach screaming in the black metal subject? Um, yes and no, like I'm not going to make any videos on that because I don't feel I'm qualified enough to teach black metal vocals. Um, and well, if you want to, if you want to think like fundamentally, what what I kind of like, um, its purpose. Again, art is expression. Um, the kind of vocals I like are shrieky, like take Nightbringer, Early Emperor, Be Early Behexen, before they sing Loss's voice. Yeah, that that's the kind of stuff that I like. Do I learn black metal songs by ear or tab, and how do I do it? So, I mainly do it through ear and by watching live videos. I think that's the best way to do it if you want to get a very, very authentic oops, authentic and correct way of playing um, an artist's song. That's probably the best way to do it. And how did I learn? I studied music for five years and for, for um, I think a year and a bit of that time, we were taking lessons on oral skills, which is ear training and transcribing. And it kind of worked from there. But once you start playing more and learning more songs, you kind of listen out for all the different uh, different sounds that chords make, and you can identify where you need to do hammer-ons, pull-offs, whether they're semitones or tones or, or minor thirds, for example. Um, it's all it all comes with a little bit of experience and knowing exactly what sounds like what, knowing exactly what a minor chord sounds like, what know exactly what a um, a minor triad, well I said minor, minor triad, a major triad, um, something diatonic, just know exactly what everything should sound like. That's one thing that's really helped me. Um, as a beginner player, what would be a good rig setup for playing black metal on a low budget? Um, you can use anything, especially if you're into like the old school raw black metal, fucking anything helps. Anything is fine. Doesn't matter what guitar you have, doesn't matter what amp you have, it's all about the conviction and how you play it. Um, because take Burzum for example and the Philosophum album, Varg just used a um, fuzz pedal and a um, just a hi-fi system and yeah that worked for him you know that, that's what he wanted to do again that, that's, a, that's a personal taste question as well when it comes to the type of black metal you want to make if it's just the case of just starting, starting it out and you want to s s have the necro sound then yeah it doesn't really matter what you use as long as you dial in a really, really fucking horrible guitar tone, that kind of thing. Okay, so the next one is, how do I approach writing my own black metal riffs? Two notes, chords, melody, which at what point? <sighs> fucking hell. Um, when it comes to the riffs that I like, they need to be fast and intense. And I'm really struggling with this bloody string. Bass guitars are pain in Um... It, uh, it depends on the kind of song I want to make. If I want to make something brutal and horrific, then I'm obviously not going to use like happy diatonic -y, diatonic -y riffs. And it's very unlikely I'm going to use two note chords a lot of the time because a lot of them don't have the same kind of power as an inverted power chord. So it depends on the type of song that I want to create. Uh, that's the first thing. And then everything comes from there. Because uh, when I write, well, for one of my bands, I was writing, for my personal music, I was writing as though I was thinking of the finished album in mind. So what I wanted was um, a very, very good album flow, where I wanted the intro to be br the intro song to be brutal, the second one to be slightly more uplifting, the third one to be more relaxed, fourth one to be more frantic. Um, so it depends on, personally, it depends on the end product I'd like to make. Um, 
again, I don't have a set formula to the way I write. It's, I generally operate through feeling and going through and going through if I feel sound good or what I think is right. Things like that. Um, if you want to write an up, uplifting kind of song, then yeah, then obviously melodies and some two note riffs could be really important and some uh, some lead lines, of course. But you know, it's, uh, it depends. It really does depend. Um, what do you think of the black metal bands that don't know music theory? Doesn't matter if they're famous or whatever. Doesn't really matter as long as they write good songs. Um, that's that's it. Okay, so next one is many black metal bands, mainly from the Icelandic scene, like Sparky Dowdy, Mistiming, Sinmara, or I could mention Deathspell Omega and Barsh Barsha I can never pronounce it, pronounce that band. I gig with them, but I can never pronounce that band. Um, sound really different to other bands. How do these bands sound, sound so dissonant? By using dissonant chords, uh, chords with very tense intervals, with lots of flat seconds, flat nines, flat fives. Um, but a lot of their playing it really is power chord based. It's more, it's more the atmosphere it brings. It's the way they move the power chords in tense intervals. I will do an intervals lesson, but I'm going to give it a while um, because I'm waiting for some people to ask ask me about it a lot. Because um, intervals are a thing you can look up on Google quite quickly, and I don't think I need to spend a whole lesson with a flipboard explaining them when it can be just found on Google for five minutes on, in five minutes. Um, the next one was, what was the song I found most beneficial to learn? It's two. It's The Trooper and Kings of the Carnival Creation. Those two really changed my playing and made my playing so much better. Um, mainly for the rhythm playing in both songs and the lead playing from Iron Maiden's music. Uh, next question, as a new guitarist at the age of 30, if I practice three to four hours a day every day, how, do you think, how long do you think it will take me to become average at playing black metal? With all my students, I say it doesn't really matter how long you practice for, it depends on the type of practice. Because when you're practicing, you have to make sure that you iron out all your mistakes. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter because you could be practicing, practicing three hours. You could be practicing for three hours and you could still sound like shit because you're still practicing all your mistakes. Um, don't be that guy. Practice practice for 10 minutes at a time yeah practice diligently don't don't get distracted if you're going to pra practice practice one thing at a time yeah don't don't overdo it don't what the hell's going on here don't overdo your practice reg regimen um, and only practice when you feel you really 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 need to um because if I'm honest, I didn't practice that much. <laughs> as, as weird as it sounds, like I didn't really like practice, practice. But what I did when I did practice, when I did practice, it was vigilant. I made sure I was I was making no mistakes. Okay, now this is really weird. Why is this bass doing shit? I still have only done one string on this bloody bass. Um, whatever. Um, do I like any Ukrainian black metal bands? I'm really into Drutka. Oh, I can't pronounce them. Um, I don't really listen to any besides Drutka, and the last time I listened to them were, was when I was like. It's too long ago. I don't even remember any of their songs or anything. But um, it was cool when I remember listening to it. It was like cool. Uh, next question, are augmented chords good to use in black metal songs? Um, hit and miss, I don't really like the augmented sound, but Emperor used them quite tastefully. Um, if, you're, if you're creative with it and you make it sound really cool, no reason why you can't do that. Um, what's my all-time favourite riff? Please use my guitar. <laughs> um, fucking hell, I have no idea. I've got no idea what my favourite riff is because there's so many good ones. Um, off the top of my head, I quite like the uh, Celestial Deconstruction riff, uh, 1349. I think that's got a nice blend of um, uplifting sounds and melancholy. I think that's a cool riff. Um, the Inno Asatano riff, Kings of the Final Creation. 
Kill for Satan by Suda. That's a bitch. That's a roar. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I might play it later. It depends how far I get with restringing this and it's messing up on me. Annoyingly, so we'll see. Um, next one. Low action, low action string setup or high action string setup. In the middle, I had one guitar that had super low action and I loved it, but the sound was so thin. Um, so it's got to be low but high enough so that you can attack the strings and have the sound of the strings push through. Um, I used to play with quite high action because I foolishly put 11s on a string, uh, 11 strings on a guitar that was mostly set up for nines. Um, that helped my playing a lot. Yeah, this, this string's catching somewhere on the fretboard. Whatever, I'll figure out later. Um, yeah, so low action, but not too low, so that the guitar sounds like crap. Um, now the miscellaneous questions. Do I have any black metal projects that I'm that you're in or was in? Um, I've had quite a few. My active, my most active projects right now are my YouTube music, my, my YouTube solo music, and Oreshkigal, which is a very very brutal and evil sounding black metal band. You can find that on my channel somewhere the EP we did. Um, that's pretty cool. I've got Domitorum, which is a more symphonic but still kind of brutal sounding black metal band, sort of really fast. Um, before that we were called Premature Birth, which was again symphonic, brutal extreme metal. Um, I've played in a couple of other bands as well, Sessioning, and I feature on Cursed Be Thy Flesh's first EP, I think it's coming out soon, I only wrote two songs for it. Um, next one, how do I like my cornflakes? Do I like them crispy or do I like them soft? <laughs> I like them in the middle. You know, I like I like when I have my cornflakes, it's nice when you have like the slightly um, softer ones, uh, I've been soaked in the milk for a little bit, but you get the crispy ones on top, you get a nice like, little blend of that. Uh, if I could have my name dead go over turn into a black metal logo in my own design, what would it look like? Um, I don't know, but it would be it would be in the art style of um, Christoph, the guy who did Emperor's logo. Um, I'll probably get him to do it. You know, he's, a, he's a nice guy. He's done lo he's done the Domitorum logo and he did a killer job. So I can ask him if I ever wanted to. Um, what band do I think is the most evil in terms of lyrics? I think Nightbringer has some evil lyrics. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I find sometimes I find all these like Satan-y lyrics just a little bit gimmicky. Um, but when it comes to like evil and provo provocation, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Uh, how old am I? I'm 24. And the last question is, what's my curry of choice? Dog. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed the q and I'm going to crack on with restringing this bass because this is not working out very well. But yeah, catch you guys later. <laughs>